Welcome back to How Do You Say Arrows. Hey! I am your DJ, Adam Euros. <laughs> that, and this is DJ Gabby Arrows. Yaris. Erky, erky, boom, boom, chick, oh, oh. <laughs> Those are my DJing skills. Oh my gosh. Um, We're so excited to talk about something that we have had a new experience with. This is something that Gabby in particular has longed for. Like, yeah. I, I think Gabby started talking about this probably since I knew her, but I think more clearly when we um you know, when we were going to when we were engaged and we were figuring out where we were going to live. That's true. I, yeah. I, I think that's when it really came to head. I, although you might have mentioned it before, but that's where I remember you started yeah, talking. Yeah, that's true. Gabby and I, about a few weekends ago, realizing these are filmed in advance here too, went to an Estate Sale. Gabby has longed for this. And, uh, you know, it was a, we had no idea that this is going to happen. It was a very um, surprising morning, but an excellent morning. So we were leaving Princeton. We had gone for a little breakfast. Yes, it was so, so good at our place. Jam and Crepes, loved it. Oh, Amazing. Cute, great people. If you're ever in Princeton, you could also see more references to Jam and Crepes on our um, favorite food places. I forget the exact yes, podcast episode. Definitely, name. definitely. Um, so we, you know, we had had our breakfast there. We love that. Yep. Um, we had done some walking in Princeton and then we're going home and Adam sees a sign. It says estate sale. And we're like, we go buy it. And I'm like, and we're like, he's like, should we stop? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe go back. Let's see. Like, when is it for? It's for that day included. Oh yeah. So we decide to turn around and go find it. And it was so exciting. We go in. First of all, we pull up to this like cra- when you say estate. Oh yeah. So this is I like mean, this is an estate. Let's yeah. add into this. This is so one of the cool parts about particularly why I was intrigued with this and it was like so we saw him like and what Gabby has been talking for years about it and you know part of the challenge with this is like it, it's very different than a garage sale. This isn't the crap people are throwing away or trying to pawn off. Yeah, here. yeah. This is actually like yo we are clearing house of of. Maybe some junk too, but actually, theoretically, like <laughs> really nice items. Because when you do this, like, uh, we found out that there, like, there is a professional guy coming in to sell this stuff. Like, yeah, there, yeah. this is designed to move. But um, yeah, it was just, the, and it was just fun that being our first estate sale because it was ridiculous. Like, we we park on the street. And we go in through like this portcullis yeah. or whatever. This is a. I um, mean, it's like a crazy entryway uh, that you can drive through, but like is open and and has this whole archway with brick. It, it almost looked like an uh, a weirdly enough an old stable, but this is yeah, in Princeton, true. so it's all been retrofitted, so it's modern and beautiful yeah. and. You know, it's one of the uh, several million dollar homes that this would register out to be. For sure. And then you walk through, you end up in this huge courtyard. Yeah. Oh my God. That, that is courtyard. surrounded by house, basically. Yeah, almost like, yeah, essentially almost like a, um, a, a square, like a, yeah. a completely like, um, uh, a, a U with no curves or, or, or what's the yeah, word? Yeah. Yeah. Square. Yeah. It was a square. What? Rectangle-ish. Square with one top missing. Okay. And it had, um, a gate, like Yo, a, there's a, gates you know, all these gates, you know, really pretty gates and people like so us. much house. <laughs> so then we get to go in. It was just fun. Like, yeah, it, it definitely, I, I think the house might've been like a barn at some point. So it's got the open beam ceilings. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. You know, three or four levels. Um, different parts have the spiral staircase, all these weird rooms. They had a kind of a weird style. Um, and it was just fun to explore. Um, oh, yeah. so it was just fun. And then, um, we're just exploring all these things. I love the idea of a state sale because I mean, why not like explore, like find, find treasures that someone else loved and now you get to use it too. Like, I yeah. just think that's such a cool thing. Um, and so we're going through and we saw a lot of cool stuff, but yeah. we saw a bench. That oh, we, we saw a bench that we loved. Early on, so we saw this, like, it was really early on in the estate sale. Like, uh, it was in the kitchen, which is basically where you walked into. So, within the first 10 minutes, we saw this, and, like, we were both intrigued by this. Yeah. Because, so we've talked about, like, a, maybe not necessarily this type of bench that we ended up getting, but, like, a bench for the future of our bed, like, in front of it. Like, yeah. a place where you could sit, maybe use a little storage. and. Yeah. Now, right now, we do struggle because our bedroom has zero space for yeah. an, any kind. But we were thinking, like, oh, okay. Uh, we both looked at it, and, like, I think we were both intrigued early yeah. on. We've always also talked about an entryway bench that yeah. you could sit on and, 
use them like a mudroom or an entryway. So, you know, so that's what we first thought of actually mm -hmm. when we saw it. We're like, wow, that's really nice. Um, you know, okay, like it's really pretty, bright color, bright color. So, but then we're like, okay, keep moving on. You know, really, I had no thought that I we would buy something at our first estate sale. No. So we can we move on. We explore the whole house. Then we're like, you know, maybe we should go back to it. We go well, back upstairs. We did see a bed frame that was very intriguing. True, we did a king size uh, bed frame. Um, but just didn't want to spend that much money on it. Nah, it, it a couple thousand. Yeah, it looked very nice, but yeah. it was, um, you know, that's tougher. And then two leather couches that were oh, older yeah. and beat up. Very intriguing, but it was still like, ah, oh, nah, it's just not. Oh, they were, they were really, they were probably gorgeous in the beginning of their time, but yeah. they were pretty beat up. They, extremely comfortable. Though. Yeah, extremely comfortable. So, you know, and then we kind of break our way back down, and actually Adam was like, should we go back to the bench? I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Like, yeah. kind of thought it would be gone by the time we made it back downstairs. Oh yeah, I was surprised that bench was still there. Yeah, and we go back, and we sit on it, we lift it, it's heavy, you know, all that stuff. Um, and we just like really liked it and, but we didn't want to pay the price. So yeah. we talked to the guy, ask him, you know, are you willing to go a little bit down? He gives us a new price. We go back to it, talk again. Yeah. We're like, still want less. Like yep. I would still prefer less. We go back to him, ask for a new price. And, uh, he's like, I can't, I can't do that price. We're like, all right, I appreciate it. Yeah. And we wait like six seconds and then he goes, I'll do this price, a new price. Yep. That was just a little bit more than what we had the the final price. A that very we asked fair, for. like it was very fair. He bumped it up by twenty five bucks. Yeah. From where he, so it was like okay, that's nothing. We're like all right, all right, we're in. Yeah. And uh, it was so exciting. We're like okay, let's do it. And he was like okay. <laughs> so we were just so excited. We were so excited, and you know it was just like so exciting to kind of like do that oh when we had been inspecting the bench we had mm. sent pictures to our family of course we called I called my dad Adam called his dad yeah yeah you know they're both giving us their insight because obviously they've done this way more than we have and we're like yeah you know is it, it, is it reasonable to ask for a new price like is yeah. that allowed we don't really know um what, what do you think would be a good price for it obviously you know sending them pictures and describing the weight and everything and they're like yeah I think it looks really good it was so cool I think it was just like we felt really proud of ourselves, like very adult, like we're doing this, you know. Um, and it was just exciting. I think it was also exciting to like uh, we were, you know, thinking about a future home for this piece. Yeah. Um. So kind of an exciting, like we've always talked about this type of piece for our future home. Oh yeah. And so it was exciting to see it in real life and. Uh, you know, kind of like it manifest. Yeah, and like, would this be something that we could actually use, or what it was? Yeah. And, and you know, that was the one thing we were very excited. Like, it it really can be used. And actually, one of the exciting things I think we found is when we brought it home yeah. was, uh, you know, we didn't think we could fit in our house. And yes. then, you know, our room is a little bit more crowded in our living room, but yeah. it actually is great because it opens up about two or three more seats depending upon the people sitting there. And it's like. This is great. I know. It was so exciting. We brought it home just to clean it up. Yeah. You know, we wanted to like wipe it down and everything. And um, then I know both of us were probably thinking maybe we're going to have to ask my parents to store yeah, it. Yeah, of course. And, um, but we bring it home, we clean it up and we're like, wait a minute, can we move it over here? Yeah. Into, in our living room and we just and it was also it was so funny when we brought it home it was way bigger than we thought oh, yeah you know <laughs> so the the beautiful yeah. that was something maybe one of the things i've learned is maybe bring a measure well we, you know we yeah. didn't know we were going to the estate sale no. we, it was completely um spontaneous yeah we complete and very fortunate but it yeah. was you know as we're going through i'm like oh you know we we saw this in like the, the room is pretty much open floor plan. There's oh, yeah. and it was also super high ceilings, and it was by itself on a wall, not next to anything. True. So it was like, you know, it didn't seem that big. No, it really didn't. It and looked it, so much yeah. smaller in their huge house. And it's not a crazy large size, but it was larger than what we thought. Oh my gosh, when we brought it into our place, which is significantly smaller in every way, yeah, we were like, oh my gosh, it expanded. You know, like it really expanded. This thing grew. Was what so is going funny, on here? Which I'm, I'm happy about. Actually. Actually, I'm glad that it's bigger, even though it makes it a little bit, it didn't make it, you know, like now we have to still fit it in our place. I'm yeah. happy to have something that's bigger than we thought because oh, yeah. it just, you know, it just has more, even more depth than, yeah. um, you know, we were hoping for. So 
it was just so exciting. Like we felt like we really like found a treasure together. We discovered it. You know, that's always yeah. an exciting feeling. And we definitely want to go back to more estate sales. Absolutely. Although my goal is for us to not buy anything at the next, next that's estate That's not sale. Ins- necessarily my goal. <laughs> my goal is just, you know, like just keep seeing what's out there. I think we learned a lot by going to one, you know, like also I know from my dad, my dad has done, my dad's yeah. an amazing shopper and he just finds like amazing stuff. Like you would never even think it's like you say, Oh, I'd like whatever. He'll find it. Like it's crazy what he finds. And we joke that he's the finder and, um, you know, he'll also get amazing deals and stuff. Yeah. So, you know, for us, it'll, oh, be, yeah. it'll be good for us to learn how much things are supposed to cost. Yeah, it's a very different world on that. And, you know, yeah. I think I was learning, like, uh, we were learning what is negotiation like in this. And totally. is it okay to negotiate? Oh, yeah. Because I'm not inherently an asker on many things. Uh-huh. Gabby and I were talking. But I am, like, I will ask if I think, like, I take asking very seriously. I guess that's my my area of, like... Okay, if we're doing it, I want to know. Like, are we? Which was actually a good piece of advice from um, Gabby's dad in this scenario. Yes. Was that you know when we were asking for a price reduction in both? The first one wasn't a problem, but it was, hey, if you're going through this, the only thing he said, and I agree with this because it goes well with me. Like, I'm not necessarily like you know I won't go up to a person and just like ask things and try to like. I don't want to haggle just to haggle, like, to, like, and then not buy it. Because it feels like, okay, this is just wasting their time and my time. Like, feel, but your, Gabby's dad was so right. Like, hey, if he gives this, you've got to be ready. Like, you got to be saying, like, if he gives you the price, you're taking it. Yeah, like, there's a respect element. He was kind of letting us know. He's like, yeah, like, if you ask, think of a price that you want to pay in your mind. And if, if they really do meet that price. Like, yeah. it's honorable to take it then. Yeah, because you asked for that price, and if they're meeting you there, you know, kind of that kind of, um, kind know, of like, etiquette, that kind of etiquette. Yeah. And so that was very interesting for us. We're like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. You know, like, if you're really coming to the guy, and he's really working with you, and they actually give you that price. Now, now he, we could have still said no in the end, because sure, uh, you're he not, hadn't given us exactly the price that we'd asked. No, but, but I mean, he gave us, in the end, we felt like it was it was right for us. So we were like, yeah, okay. He, yeah. he met us where we. Were oh yeah, he to he, he the the person running it was great, and it to uh, to me actually that was I think we both agreed it was like, okay, twenty five dollars on this price was yeah. very fair of like yeah you know you he came down significantly he did, so it was he like did, he did. okay I get where you're saying here like yeah. okay you're recouping and like you're not giving all the way but you're good to go on. But this, now so. my goal for the next one is either to not buy anything or to get something for free. <laughs> 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 and Adam's like, no way. But I've talked to people who go to a state sale and like, I'm saying like you buy something and then they're like, you know what? I need to get rid of this other thing. So take it. Okay. Something like that. You know, that happens. I think. So someday that'll happen to us. Well, I we'll, hope. I, we'll have to just go again and try out. <laughs> we'll go again. But anybody if, knows of a great estate sale, let us know. Email us. In, quickly and in time though. Oh yeah. I, yeah, that's, yeah, that's real. That's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be, uh, got to be moving on this here, kids. Thanks, but guys. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and if at all possible, send us an email at howdoyousayyaris at gmail dot com at where you would like to be invested in. We would also love if you shared our podcast with family and friends. Make us famous. <laughs> Not really, but we would love to uh, to, to keep us going. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys.